Now we, we have seen before in, in the first videos that when you create a new form, you can do it from different places. One of them is upload an XLS form, right? And what is XLS form is, uh, is kind of the backstage of what's going on in the form builder. So all of these things that we have here, they become an Excel file somehow. And I'm going to show you because here you have like different options. One of them in here, I'll explain later, is download the XLS. So when you click in download XLS, you get a file here with a very long name. If you see that this name is the same as this one, which is the instance name, I think it's called. It's like the particular one for this, uh, this form. And then you get an Excel file with this name. You can enable editing. And if you see here, you have uh, columns and rows. Each column is a parameter of the, of the questions and each row is a question. So you see here we have start and end is the metadata that we are collecting today, the bias ID. Then begin group, end group. So for example, all of this, this is saying that a group is beginning and it's called intro and a group is ending and, and so forth. So select one is for the questions that are one single choice. Integer is for numbers. Calculate is for calculations. So all these questions that we have been talking through before, they are all here. Geopoint is GPS. Uh, image, image, image is, uh, is to take pictures and things like that, right? Here is the label, so the, na the name that we express, the hint that we wrote as well. Is it compulsory or not? And the appearance of each of the questions is also stated here. If there is like a skip logic is in this column here, so you can investigate a little bit and be familiar with uh, with different things. Filter choices, calculations, constraint messages, and constraints. So all of these are like the guts of, of, the, of the form. And, and you can work with them uh, sometimes quicker. Like if, for example, I want to make all of them be required, I can just do this. And suddenly all the questions are required. You don't have to be click, 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 click for each one of them. You can do them all at once, which is sometimes really much better and faster. Or if you want to create similar questions all the time, instead of uh, doing it one by one or by, by like we would do in here, we can clone the question, duplicate the question. We can just do it here really, really quick. So sometimes it's very good. In the choices, we have all the choices. So we have all the villages that we can choose. We have all the sites that we can use. So all of this is just a list of a lot of them. Mm, apart from this, there is uh, something interesting that is called cascading select. I'll show you in a minute what it is. Uh, let's say that we have this form open. And we have uh, Chatsuka, and if you see, <coughs> excuse me, when you click Chatsuka, you have different villages. When you click Kachere, you have different villages. When you click Nguda, you have different villages. That means that this camp village depends on where you are. So you have a camp, and around this camp, you have different villages that gather in this camp. And in Mpamba, they are, of course, different than in Gouda. The way to do that, the simpler way is to go to the, to the fill, to the, to the Excel file, and then select something that is called a filter choice. And I type here the code. Camp, filter, and choice. I'm not going to go too much into how to do this, but I will, I will leave uh, a description in the file where, where, where they explain it, how to do it. Because it takes a bit of, a bit of time and it's maybe not the less ad of all the advanced things that we can do. So you can investigate by yourself. Um, and then calculated questions as well. You can do them. 
so we were talking before like if you have uh, a form and you are asking number of girls number of boys number of females and number of males then you don't need to ask um, the total for example girls boys adults and female right and then I have a question that is called total users and here you have the calculation sorry here it's you under five male plus under five female plus adults male plus adult females what what is each one of this well is the name assigned in this to each one of them so this is the label it's like what we read and this is the name is what the computer reads this is done because you can have also different languages here so you could have a label in english a label in french we'll go through that later on as well so this this uh, calculation can be done here but if we go to the form i'm going to collapse here and then uh, and then in the huh, in the users we have the calculation you see it's the same data we have the calculation here and the column name and that's it for calculations uh, in calculations you, you can do many many other things but i'm not going to to explain much more you can go into xls form and, and read about calculations because i don't want to make this too heavy <laughs>